Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a PS5 Slim console. This one is a PS5 Slim CFI-2000 and in this video I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and remove the power supply and replace the power supply. It's really easy and it will take a few minutes to do it. First thing first, what you wanna do, you wanna power up the console, you have yourself a screwdriver set, we're gonna use an iFix screwdriver set, we're gonna be using a Torx number 9 and a Phillips number one. So first thing first, we're gonna remove the covers. The front of the console is right in here. So I'm gonna put my finger right on the top portion, pull it up, remove the top portion. Same thing by the DVD drive cover. Pull it up a little bit, just a little bit, make that is loose. Go to the corner, same thing, remove it. Remove the DVD drive by pulling the back end up towards yourself. And there we have it. Now we need to remove the backside panels. The backside panels, we're gonna same thing, pull, pull back, remove, pull back, remove. All right. Now down here, we need to remove a whole bunch of screws. These are all torque screws. I'm gonna go over really easy how to find out which one is what. They have been marked beside the screw, the double mark right there. Double mark means a long uh, plastic screw for uh, plastic threads, long ones, long plastic threads. And if you see a single screw, single dot, that means that is a metal thread screw. And you know the difference? Let's remove one of the metal thread screw, which is marked with one. And we're gonna remove the double mark. Double mark is a longer plastic one. The difference is for the plastic threads are really spread apart and the metal ones are really close to each other. And if there is no marking, that means this is a for short plastic ones. So this is a short plastic. So we're gonna remove all the torque screws and there should be a label right in here like this. You wanna remove this label. This is the warranty label, lift it up and there should be a long plastic screw right, plastic thread screw right in there. So if it's not coming out, use a magnet to pull it out. All right, we need to remove all the screws and the screws right in here too. On the back, the screws in the corners, by the HDMI port, corner right down there. We do need to disconnect the fan screws too, so we need to remove the screws for these ones. So once we remove that, remove this cover plastic for the fan connector. Unhook the fan connector, remove the screw right in there. All right, now bring out the fan and put it to one side. Uh, let me see if I have missed anything. No, so we're gonna grab this plastic cover, wiggle it around. Oh, we need to remove this Phillips. That's why this is the only Phillips that we're gonna remove. Remove that Phillips and bring it up. And there you have the bottom, the whatever, mid cover. And everything is gonna slide right over me here. So I'll put this to one side. Now we need to flip it over. We need to remove, this is the power unit right over here, to remove two screws, forks number nine. I put a, a one dot mark, that means a plastic, a metal one, metal to metal, so both of them are metal to metal threads. So we're gonna put those to one side. Once we remove those, we need to disconnect the Wi-Fi connector right in here, bring it upward. And untangle it, put it to one side, or put it underneath, whatever, it just keeps coming back. Once we have that one, we need to remove this plate right in here. This corner one is a long plastic screw. This one right here. And this one, there's nothing goes there, so there's a three short metal to metal uh, chrome screws. Once we remove this one, we're gonna simply lift up this cover. 
Now, down here, we're going to remove this flex cable that goes to the front USB-C and power on. To remove it, you don't want to yank it backward, otherwise you're going to damage the flex cable. You want to put your fingers in this power here. There's a tiny lever there. It's a straight side to side. You want to push it towards the motherboard while you pull this flex cable back like that. Because that has a little tiny ear loops on the side of the flex cable, it hooks inside the connector. If you don't push this lever down, you can damage the flex cable. All right, once we did that, simply we're gonna lift up the front end of the console with my finger. I'm just gonna push the power unit with the whole thing upward. This plastic right in here. Okay. So what we can do right now here, actually we're gonna separate the power unit, put your finger right at the power unit here and separate it, bring it up. Now we're gonna bring up the motherboard upward, work it around a little bit, and it will release itself. So, right over here, so I'm gonna do a little bit of helping. There we go. And it will come out. All right, so now we have this motherboard sandwich between the heat sink, put it to one side. And the power unit is right in here, grab it, bring it out. So the model for this one, it says model ADP-400GR. This is a 12 volt, it's a 12 volt 31 amp uh, power unit. So grab the new one, let's say, you got it, you can get an off-market one from AliExpress or eBay. We'll get the original one. Once you have it, you want to bring it down, slide it right in there. Make sure this pinhole goes right through. Everything else is in place. All right, next, once you have this one sit down right there, you want to grab the board. These two pins, they have to go in there. So first you're going to bring it down evenly. This pinhole right there and in here has to go straight in. Bring it down, push down the corner where the pin is. There we go. Make sure this flex cable stays on top. So I'm gonna lift it up a little bit. Use a tweezer to bring it upward so it doesn't get damaged there. There. So we're gonna put it back down. There we have it. Nicely in place. We're going to run down the Wi-Fi cables. And the blue one goes to the nearest connector. You just push them down, it's like a snap-on. Always align them evenly over the connector and then push them down. It will just make a tiny click down. All right. Next is to put this flex cable in, align it right in front of the connector, push down the lever, the lever, push down the cover, and then push it inside right there. To finish it off, put the cover metal bracket right on top. Put the long plastic screw right first in the corner. and then three metal thread screws. Remember that one of them doesn't have any screw in there. It goes from the top cover. Again, if you guys like this video and helped you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos and take requests from you guys. All right, once we're done with this one, grab the cover, put it right on top. This one has to be aligned. All right, there we go. Align the back corner too. Once everything is aligned, all you want to do is put the short one in the corner. So hold the two cases together and a short one right on this corner. You can put the Phillips screw right on the 
a storage cover. Then grab the another short one, put it in the corner. Now this was a long one. The short one goes right in there. Remember when there is no marking, it goes plastic uh, screws. Right, grab the fan, drop it in there, push down the connector. Put the cable in there. This one has a adhesive how they have. There we go. Put the cover for a fan connector. This one over here has no marking, so this one is a plastic. This one is a double. Let's put the screws in there and then we're gonna tighten our and there should be one more, not that one, this one we put right here. So I'm going to fast forward this part and once we finish we're going to put the two screws on the back by the power unit. I hope I haven't missed anything down here, no? I don't know where I removed this one from, but I'll get into it. All right, let's put these two screws on this side. All right, we are almost done. So double check, make sure you put all the screws in there. If you missed any, don't worry about it here. I missed one right over here. This was a short one, so. So this one goes here, this short one goes right there. If you put a wrong one, then you want, want to get a spatula, put it right underneath, and rotate, and it will come out. And put this one right here. And the short one goes right here. There. And to finish it off, grab the DVD drive. Put the front end of the DVD drive right in the cover. Drop it down, push it down, grab the cover. Put the back end of the cover at the back of the console. Push down the front end, it will make a big click sound. Same thing with fan cover. Put it down and big nice click sounds. The other side, it does the same thing. Push it down and front end, nice click. And this is how you replace your power unit for your PlayStation 5 Slim console. Again, if you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.